going on guys welcome back to another Ross reviews and today we are in with Aiden and this is his series one VESS that he's done quite a bit of work to here so uh, yeah this thing is not stock and makes pretty hectic noise eh so what run, run us through some of the mods you've done to this because you've built this car essentially in your garage yeah. and LSA blower like it, it's got some good fruit on it yeah basically um, well performance wise it's still stock L98 um, and I've just done the valve springs and head starts um, it's got a stock cam still even though it um, sounds a little bit lumpy it's actually stock and um, I put an LSA blower on it uh, running 11 psi just an upper pulley stock bottom pulley um, intake and a full exhaust system custom made with the DPE center. And yeah, sounds good. Yeah, and then I've just had the box built. It's just a standard six speed auto. Um, I've had it built to be uh, apparently hand weight, 100 horsepower, but I don't know, I haven't tested that yet. Yeah, so we're running around the 600 wheel mark. Yeah, uh, different on different dynos. So I've, it's read anywhere from around the 554 was my lowest to 620 something was my highest yeah so yeah, i'd say roughly around 600 probably yeah well, that's serious power and yeah the lsa i love that blower it sounds good um and yeah the 6l80e i have been in a few of them that can actually push some pretty big power um yeah that was always a bit of a surprise to me that they can be built to take quite a beating yeah no they're definitely uh i was impressed i was gonna go the turbo 400 route like everyone yeah. else but I was talked around for drivability and obviously driving on the freeway and things like that yeah because um, I've got diff gears as well yeah uh, so what I, diff gears are you running in the back uh, they're 3.45 genuine HSV gears yeah true and uh, I forget what type of LSD it is but it's, it was a brand new diff basically yeah um, so yeah it's nice and tight Picks up quick. Yeah. And on the interior, you've done a bit of a change too, haven't you? So you've gone Calais yeah. on the inside. So basically, I've done a Calais dash conversion. Um, I've done the cream suede Calais door cards. Unfortunately, originally I bought all Caprice interior, um, which is what these seats are out of. I wanted a cream caprice interior, but the doors are longer, so the door cards don't actually fit. True. And the seats actually needed to be modified a little bit to fold in as well at the back. Yeah, right. Uh, so it's definitely not a straight fit, but yeah, what I couldn't put in that was caprice, I ended up sourcing from the Calais, and, um, and then just a few custom bits and pieces to sort of make up the bits in between. Yeah, wow. And yeah, I've obviously done the whole stereo. Um, yeah, big stereo on the boot. Yeah, that was the last thing I did. I sort of did all the performance work and then I did the uh, cosmetic stuff and then I decided I wanted a stereo and I kind of went through about four different setups before I was pretty happy. Yeah. And I'm pretty content with it as it is now. And um, is, is it wrapped, obviously? And... Um, no, this is actually a factory original color. This is um, a factory color? Yeah, so it's called Kapow. Uh, yeah, well. Holden only brought it out for one year in 2007. Really? Yeah, so it's blue with a purple pearl in it. I, I thought this was wrapped for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I was no, like... No. Uh, I think anyone that's seen this car has asked me um, if it's been custom painted or wrapped. But yeah. this is the factory colour. And it's the original paint besides right. what I've put on it. The body yeah, bit. so you've done the, the bonnet, obviously, in that. Yeah. yeah, custom bonnet to clear the blower. Um, I only wanted a real small reverse cow. Yeah. Had my mate at um, Auto um, unwanted automotive do that for me so I'm real happy with the outcome um, the body kit I did all myself it's all genuine um, Senator and the front bars GDS yeah man um, I actually painted it myself in two pack in my garage as well yeah um, yeah and as far as like the original tail, HSV tail lights um, so every, everything's genuine HSV besides the spoiler which is just a plastic mold copy 
Yeah, wow. I didn't, yeah. No idea that was a factory paint color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Definitely, man. It was actually something I didn't like when I first bought the car. Um, and uh, after about a week, it grew on me, and now I just love it. So. Yeah, true. mind if you share some of your story about how oh, you okay. built this because like I think it's a pretty uplifting story to be honest. Yeah, yeah I'll get into that. So yes. basically uh, I, a couple of years ago I went into kidney failure and I started dialysis five times a day. Yeah. Couldn't really work because every four hours or three hours I was stuck on a dialysis machine and I really needed something to do with my days Yeah. Uh, and you know with low income or no income really. Um, basically had to build everything on a budget uh, as far as parts go I didn't really you know cheap out but I did everything myself to be cheap absolutely yeah um, and then uh, after about six months of uh, dialysis I actually caused me to have a stroke and yeah. I lost the ability to walk so it's I, tough, um, man. yeah I ended up in a wheelchair um, I could still drive and use my legs but Thank God, yeah. I can't stand, yeah, I can't stand on them or balance or anything. I can't, there's no way to walk, so I'm in a wheelchair. So, yeah, I started building the car at that point for something to do. And so everything I've done, I've done from a wheelchair, which... That's amazing, man. And then all in your garage, like, you know, and yeah. Just spend... Trying to do that in a wheelchair is no easy feat, man. Even just to do it, a normal person to do all the work themselves is not easy, so... Yeah, it's, and I mean, um... I've had help. With friends here and there, like to help me lift in the seats or yeah. lift a bumper on or something like oh, that's that. That's great as well, yeah. But of course. The majority of the things I've just done myself, and yeah, got through it eventually. Like, where there's a wheel. Well, I think it's. Way. I think as well, you know, it's just so good for mental health and everything when you're going through something like that, just to have oh, definitely. that outlet, you know, and that something to do and something to work on, like. Yeah. You can feel like I can really feel like even when we're sitting here driving this thing, you're looking at the mods, like you've really thought about this and you know worked on every little thing for you you know to make it your own you know yeah i really wanted it to be perfect in my eyes obviously nothing feels perfect but yeah I, I had an idea of what i wanted and i set out to build that and i think i've accomplished it oh man you've done done an awesome job here yeah and uh again to be able to do it and build this thing all you know while you're in a wheelchair at the moment it's like that's off to you man that's yeah, major been been a headache but uh that's also been really fun and yeah like you say it's something to do every day take my mind off of everything and uh keep it going and uh obviously the end result is always like something that you look forward to so it gives you something to aim for you know 100 percent, 100 percent, man keep, keep me sane <laughs> absolutely driver's seat here of this thing and yeah again this is a beast you know it's everything has pretty much been touched on this car and again 600 wheel it's it's no slouch yeah, it's pretty impressive um, for a stock motor yeah considering you haven't really gone to town like with the actual motor it's uh it is pretty healthy isn't it it is yeah it's, and it's still a 98 as well so yeah Guys, that is just like easy on the power too, you know what I mean? Like I'm not even close to the floor. And uh Yeah, you, you definitely gotta feather it to keep traction. Yeah. Like you gotta feather it because <laughs> that LSA blower just instant, you know? I'm actually surprised normally people can't pick it up that quick. It's um a fine line where you can, you know, getting put your traction down. and not yeah. Well I I always like go on the cautious side first so yeah then I, then I slowly work into it and it's like you, you, you can kind of tell there like it's not it's probably like 
Not even half pedal. Yeah. Like, uh, roughly. I've had a couple of mates that have just gone all in, like, when I've let them have a drive and they're not allowed to drive it again. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, doing about Some 100. people just go zero to 100 too quick and it's like, man, you gotta um, have some, like, control about yourself. Like, <laughs> we, we were already doing 100 at the time and um, we ended up facing the wrong like traffic in the opposite lane so oh so you fully yeah <laughs> kicked it right out and then didn't know how to bring it back and um luck- luckily we didn't go off the road but yeah oh my <laughs> once it breaks it breaks so if i go a little bit more It doesn't take long to be in El Paso speeds. Yeah, it's it, uh, sometimes you're just driving and you don't realize. But well, that, that is true as well. I know it's it's sometimes you just got a good song comes on, or yeah. you're just like focusing on the actual driving and not really looking at what speed you're going. And then all of a sudden you look down and you're yeah. like, oh, I felt like I was just going a comfortable speed. And then <laughs> a comfortable car to drive. Yeah. Now, guys, again, if you're enjoying this type of content make sure you hit that big red subscribe button uh you know it really does help me out grow the channel be able to go around australia bring these builds these stories to you guys at home and um show off these awesome aussie cars because yeah this thing again <laughs> just that 10 percent pedal right there and you can just hear it and start opening it up like yeah it's it's magic hey yeah that sounds great it is good Alrighty guys, now zero to a hundred. We're gonna test it out here. Just gonna stop on the side of the road, and um, yep, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Was that second? That was second. Yeah, right. And um. I think if we were in first, it would have been, and that was about half pedal too, mate. So, yeah, yeah you you got to be so cautious in this thing, eh? Now, guys, I am pretty impressed with this. We just did a 5.2 0 to 100, and let's remember, like, I've only just been driving this thing for about half an hour, and um, it is tail happy. So, I think a 5.2. So, we started in second, and just feathered this thing to 100 and 5.2 we gotta remember all the stereo you got in here all the sound deadening you said you know there's nearly like a couple hundred kilos of deadening yeah. on this um, the around. leather interior two guys in here like a 5.2 in this big heavy holding is quick so that's pretty impressive man if yeah i'm pretty impressed with that yeah no it's good not bad now guys we're gonna finish the video off here today so look again hayden huge thank you man for bringing the the car down letting us take it out telling us your story because again just all the stuff you've been through like the fact you're you know building this thing in your garage it's it's awesome man. so thanks. again huge thanks for sharing coming on the channel and uh guys again make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment and um yeah we'll see you guys on that next one take care guys